In the ever-evolving landscape of automotive technology, the quest for cleaner, more efficient energy sources has never been more critical. Recent reports indicate that Toyota has filed a groundbreaking patent for a new engine that runs on water, potentially revolutionizing the electric vehicle EV, ecosystem. Unlike traditional hydrogen engines, this innovative design promises to eliminate the need for lithium batteries, produce zero emissions, and be affordable for a wide range of vehicles. This article delves into the details of Toyota's new engine, its implications for the automotive industry, and the historical context surrounding water-powered vehicles. Today we will debunk this news is it real or fake? Keep watching to find out. The vision behind the water engine. The ambition to create a water-powered engine has been a long-standing dream for many in the automotive industry. Akio Toyota, Toyota's former CEO, envisioned a world where vehicles would operate without polluting the environment. His vision was to eliminate the reliance on fossil fuels and create a sustainable future for transportation. Building on this foundation, current CEO Koji Sato aims to bring this dream to fruition with a new engine that surpasses the capabilities of hydrogen fuel cell technology. Historically, when people refer to water engines, they often mean hydrogen-powered vehicles. These vehicles typically rely on hydrogen gas produced through electrolysis, a process that extracts hydrogen from water. However, this method is energy-intensive and requires large manufacturing plants to produce the hydrogen, making it impractical for everyday use. Toyota's new engine seeks to address these challenges by generating energy within the vehicle itself utilizing advanced electrolysis techniques that are both efficient and safe. How the new engine works. Toyota's innovative engine design incorporates advanced materials and technologies to optimize the electrolysis process. Instead of relying on large tanks of hydrogen, the engine uses water as its primary fuel source. This approach not only reduces costs but also minimizes safety risks associated with storing hydrogen gas under high pressure. The engine operates by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen in small, controlled amounts, allowing for a safer and more efficient energy production process. This method addresses the significant drawbacks of traditional hydrogen engines, such as the high costs of hydrogen production and the limited availability of refueling stations. With Toyota's new engine, all that drivers would need is access to clean water, making it a more practical solution for everyday use. Historical Context the rise and fall of hydrogen technology. The journey toward a water-powered engine is not without its challenges. The history of hydrogen technology is fraught with setbacks and failures. The Toyota Mirai, the company's flagship hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, faced numerous obstacles, including high production costs and a lack of refueling infrastructure. Despite its potential to reduce carbon emissions, the Mirai struggled to gain traction in the market, with sales falling far short of expectations. The challenges associated with hydrogen production are significant. While hydrogen is a clean fuel when burned, the methods used to produce it often involve significant greenhouse gas emissions. Most hydrogen is currently produced through processes that rely on fossil fuels, negating many of the environmental benefits associated with hydrogen vehicles. This reality has led many to question the viability of hydrogen as a long-term solution for sustainable transportation. The Tragic Stories of Water-Powered Vehicles the concept of water-powered vehicles has been explored by various inventors over the years, with mixed results. One notable figure is Stanley Meyer, who claimed to have developed a water fuel cell that could power a car using only water. Despite initial excitement and interest, Meyer's claims were met with skepticism, and he faced numerous challenges in bringing his invention to market. Tragically, Meyer passed away under mysterious circumstances, and his technology was never fully realized. Another inventor, Daniel Dingle, also claimed to have created a water-powered engine. His work garnered attention from government officials and investors, but ultimately, he faced legal troubles and accusations of fraud. Dingle's story highlights the difficulties faced by innovators in the field of alternative energy, as well as the skepticism that often surrounds groundbreaking claims. These stories serve as cautionary tales for Toyota as it embarks on its journey to develop a water-powered engine. The company must navigate the challenges of public perception, regulatory hurdles, and the inherent risks associated with pioneering new technology. The future of Toyota's water engine. As Toyota moves forward with its water engine project, the potential implications for the automotive industry are immense. If successful, this technology could redefine the way we think about fuel and energy consumption in vehicles. 
The ability to power cars with water would eliminate the need for oil extraction and reduce the environmental impact of transportation significantly. Moreover, the affordability of this technology could democratize access to clean energy, making it available to a broader range of consumers. Toyota's vision includes not only luxury vehicles but also everyday cars that can operate efficiently and sustainably in suburban and rural areas. However, the road ahead is not without challenges. The company must address the technical and safety concerns associated with water-powered engines while also ensuring that the technology is scalable for mass production. Additionally, Toyota will need to build consumer trust and confidence in this new technology, particularly given the historical skepticism surrounding water-powered vehicles. Toyota's ambitious plans for a water-powered engine represent a significant step forward in the quest for sustainable transportation. By harnessing the power of water, the company aims to create a cleaner, more efficient alternative to traditional fuel sources. While the journey to bring this technology to market will undoubtedly be fraught with challenges, the potential rewards are immense. As we look to the future, the success of Toyota's water engine could pave the way for a new era in automotive technology, one where vehicles operate without harming the environment. The stories of past inventors serve as reminders of the challenges faced by those who dare to innovate, but they also highlight the importance of perseverance and vision in the pursuit of a better future. Whether Toyota's new engine will be the game-changer the industry needs remains to be seen, but the possibilities are certainly exciting. This is the news that has been circulating around the internet, now let's debunk it. The Scientific Basis Understanding Water as Fuel The concept of using water as a direct fuel source for vehicles often leads to misunderstandings about basic scientific principles. Water, HO, is a stable compound and does not store energy in a form that can be easily released for combustion or propulsion. To extract hydrogen from water, a process called electrolysis is required, which involves splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. This process is energy-intensive and typically requires more energy input than the energy that can be obtained from the hydrogen produced. The laws of thermodynamics, particularly the first and second laws, dictate that energy cannot be created from nothing. Therefore, any claims of a water engine that produces more energy than it consumes contradict established scientific principles. 2. Historical Context The Myths of Water-Powered Vehicles Throughout history, there have been numerous claims about water-powered vehicles, often associated with inventors like Stanley Meyer and Daniel Dingle. These individuals claimed to have developed technologies that could run vehicles on water alone. However, their claims were met with skepticism, and many of their inventions were never substantiated through rigorous scientific testing. Meyer, for instance, faced legal challenges and was unable to provide credible evidence for his water fuel cell technology. After his death, no one was able to replicate his results, and his patents have not led to any commercially viable products. Similarly, Dingle's claims were undermined by accusations of fraud and the discovery of gasoline traces in his water fuel. 3. The Current State of Hydrogen Technology While hydrogen fuel cells are a legitimate technology being explored by various automakers, including Toyota, they are not without their challenges. The production of hydrogen typically relies on fossil fuels, which raises environmental concerns. Moreover, the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is limited, making it impractical for widespread adoption. Toyota has invested heavily in hydrogen technology, exemplified by the Toyota Mirai, but the company has also recognized the growing importance of battery electric vehicles BEVs, in the market. The shift towards BEVs reflects the industry's response to consumer demand and the need for more practical and accessible solutions. 4. The Role of Patents and Innovation Filing a patent does not necessarily equate to a working product or technology. Many patents are filed for ideas that may never come to fruition. The existence of a patent for a water engine does not guarantee that the technology is viable or that it will be developed into a marketable product. Companies often file patents to protect their intellectual property, but the actual implementation of such technologies can be fraught with technical and financial challenges. In the case of Toyota, while the company may explore various innovative ideas, it is essential to differentiate between speculative concepts and practical applications that have been tested and validated. The importance of critical thinking in an age where information spreads rapidly, it is crucial to approach sensational claims with skepticism and critical thinking. The idea of a water-powered engine, while intriguing, lacks scientific backing and practical feasibility. 
As consumers and enthusiasts, it is essential to rely on credible sources and verified information when evaluating claims about revolutionary technologies. In summary, while Toyota continues to innovate in the automotive space, the notion of a water engine is described in the news as likely exaggerated or unfounded. The scientific principles governing energy production and the historical context of similar claims suggest that such technology remains in the realm of speculation rather than reality.